While drivers from around the world were preparing to race each other in the St. Pete Grand Prix this weekend, there was a rather unusual chase through the city streets involving St. Petersburg police. As Don Gourmet's reports, it involved a couple of horses, a golf cart, and a Schwinn bicycle. The Indy cars racing through the streets of St. Pete at close to 100 miles an hour got all the headlines. But in the hours before the official race began, St. Pete police were also racing through the crowded streets at incredible speeds. What speeds did they reach? Well, probably no more than about 15, 20 miles per hour. The low-speed chase began when police say they saw William Kuntz vandalizing a parked police golf cart with a magic marker. He's actually on a bike. He's actually straddling a bike when he does this. So mentally, the officer yells out at him. He gets on the bike and starts to run or starts to drive the bike away. Because of the crowds, police couldn't chase the suspect with a squad car. So they used what was available. Two officers on horseback and another driving a golf cart. He is cut off right there at the corner of 2nd Avenue and 2nd Street. So two horseback guys are chasing a guy on a Schwinn. Right, exactly. And, and then we'll... the golf cart gets in the way. Yes. Two horses and a golf cart chasing a Schwinn. The Schwinn lost. Will Kuntz went to jail. He wasn't home when we knocked on his door, but his mom was. Does that seem like something no. William would do? No. No. It's just not him, huh? No, he's never been in trouble. Until he brought a bicycle to a horse race. We wanted to talk to Will Kuntz about his low-speed chase with police after he bonded out of jail. We spoke to him on the phone. He said he wouldn't talk on camera. He just wants to put this behind him. At the Pell's County Jail, Don Gourmet's ABC Action News.